Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another special bonus reading for the channel. If you are an amazing Scorpio dealing with a masculine and or a feminine Gemini. Beautiful astrological oracle cards, Scorpio and the twins. Then this is the reading for you. Let's dive into this, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what we need to shuffle the deck to. Got the power of number 10. You can see the Wheel of Fortune card kick in. Any of the tens throughout the suits could show up. I'm picking up that there's there's been miscommunication between you and this Gemini. I don't know what it is. I keep seeing the Ten of Swords. Either this relationship connection came to a really bad ending. Or in certain situations, it still has yet to, to play itself out. Or there's a Gemini that you could be dealing with that is, you know, maybe getting their karma or they're the ones getting uh, backstabbed and betrayed maybe by a third party situation. I just, for whatever reason, I hope it doesn't come up, but I just cannot get my mind past the Ten of Swords right now. That there was some form of major betrayal. Power of number 12. You can see the Hanged Man cards show up, things that have been in flux or suspension. Again, communication, miscommunication. <sighs> For some of you Scorpios, this Gemini was far too laid back. And for some of these Geminis, they were not responsible with their money. That's what I'm picking up. I'm picking up on the Gemini side for the Geminis, obviously dealing with Scorpio from their perspective. Um... There are some Geminis that are really pretty much pissed off at Scorpio. I don't know what it is. Something was inconsistent. It's like a power struggle. I'm, I'm picking up a power struggle. And the funny part to me as a reader is that the energies that I'm picking up that both of you think each other are crazy in certain scenarios. <laughs> like the way you go about doing things, maybe even on a domesticated level. I'm picking up some kind of bickering on the laundry, how laundry should be done. But somebody had really great grilling skills, okay? Somebody had gr really great grilling skills because I could smell steak. So I don't know who who had the cooking abilities, the, uh, like barbecuing abilities. 
I'm also picking up on a same-sex relationship. Somebody was a designer. I don't know if it's Scorpio. I'm picking up more on Gemini. I'm picking up clothing. Somebody liked to spend a lot of money on clothing. Power of number 10. So we have a 10, 12, 10. So there's a this mirroring energy between the two of you. There's like the 10, 10 portal, which obviously we've already passed that. Um, but there are things that are waiting or somebody feels stuck or they're not sure how to move. Like I'm also picking up on the eight of swords. Somebody put themselves into their own Harry Houdini, uh, self-imposed prison of their thoughts. Looks like we're going to the number 32. Somebody's mother could have gotten in the way of this Scorpio Gemini connection. Or somebody was far too clingy on their mother or their mother was far too clingy either on Scorpio or Gemini. Because I'm getting like a smothering feeling. High Priestess could also kick in. Secrets. I almost feel like this energy connection in certain scenarios that the blame game, I keep hearing the blame game, pointing the fingers at one another. The attraction's there, though. That's the thing. That's, that's the interesting part. The attraction's there. The Gemini energy is very sharp-minded, very witty, but I've always, I have always known Gemini energy to be that very much like magical, whimsical, um, kind of like carefree attitude. I used to roommate with a Gemini many years ago. <laughs> I'm still friends with him to this day. I mean, we haven't talked in like years, you know, but we'll say friends, but, um, and we also used to work together. So but he was just so laid back, too too far laid back um, for my energy, you know. He's like, Mel, you just got to go with the flow. I'm like... I just can't go with the flow. I, I have to be like on schedule and, you know, <laughs> oh boy. But I actually, I have Gemini in my birth chart. <laughs> Gemini moon. It's where I get actually... Gemini's can make great public, you know, public speakers. I feel like the, the energy of Gemini in my birth chart, it helps me to, uh, because Gemini represents that energy of communication because we can get Gemini energy through the magician card. I have found that the Gemini side of me has helped me to enunciate uh, my words, I feel it also pushed me out of my comfort zone so many, many years ago when I was taking vocal lessons for singing and even uh, doing theater a uh, long time ago to break out of my shyness, uh, that Gemini energy got activated. So yeah, I find that the Gemini side brings out all of my all of my creativity. So I'm grateful for that. So adding up the numbers, uh, we can see the magician, of course, and or any of the aces. We may also see the judgment card. So yeah, I mean, some of you guys with your Gemini you could have been playing like the blame game between the two of you. A lot of misunderstandings. I do feel that somebody's got a child. 
or you two had children together. Could also see the Fool card. Um, Carpe Diem sees the day. Somebody may not exactly be looking back to this relationship, but there might still be some residual or lingering energy. Part number 13, we could see the death card. Sign of Scorpio with a major change. I'm still battling chest congestion, you guys. So let's move forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll put my glasses on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, for those that are dealing with a masculine and or a feminine Gemini, what is the overall message, the overall energy connection between these two zodiac signs, please? The Emperor. Somebody was trying to take control or dominate the situation. However, I almost feel that somebody here is going to be doing a 180 degree turnaround. Somebody's going to level up. Somebody wants to marry you, Scorpio, meaning you're Gemini. Hmm. But, you know, with the Emperor energy, it's very fickle. I look at the Emperor as shape shifting. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini or Gemini, you could be dealing with Scorpio. Somebody who could have been in the military. You may be waiting for your Gemini or your Scorpio to return home. Or somebody's waiting for the connection to level up here. How is this emperor showing up in this relationship dynamic between Scorpio and Gemini? Well, here you are. Queen of Cups, male or female, doesn't matter. This person is in love with you, but they're also trying to dominate over you. Take the roles how they resonate, you guys. Somebody here needed to get their confidence back. Patiently waiting, time, money, energy, investment. It's not necessarily negative energy coming in. There was just this waiting. I was picking up a waiting process here. Patiently waiting for somebody to make a move. Let's see what this is all about. We're going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Message from the Seven of Pentacles. I feel you even though we are apart. Some of you could be in a long distance um, 
connection with this Gemini. Somebody could be overseas or in Europe, maybe even possibly Asia. I saw Australia. Saw Australia in my mind too. I'm not going to ignore the, what I'm seeing. I feel you even though we are apart. So I feel like somebody here feels sad. I'm picking up that there's a distance. Could be an emotional distance, a physical distance. Could be somebody's waiting for somebody to come home. What is the hidden truth of the Queen of Cups? You and I were too young. You could have met this Gemini when you were a kid, preteen, teenager, early adult, maybe college. There could still be maybe a secret attraction for uh, the both of each other, but maybe the two of you are in separate relationships. Or something didn't work out. Or a lot of times when I see this energy, you and I were too young. It could have just been immature communication. That's why I said somebody could be leveling up here. Maybe doing a 180. Message from the Emperor. What's the hidden truth? I couldn't let you get close to me. So somebody here was resistant in their, in their feelings, which would be really odd for Scorpio. Maybe you feel this way towards Gemini. Maybe you felt like the Gemini wasn't opening up or they had been too... Brutally wounded in love. Maybe that's the reason why I kept seeing that, that Ten of Swords. Somebody might not have been ready for commitment. Maybe the attraction was very strong between the two of you. Picking up a storyline here. The attraction was very strong between the two of you and... It could have been, it could have felt like it was intoxicating or that I, I'm picking up conversations that lasted for hours. Like the two of you were just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But it almost feels that somebody did not reveal all of themselves. Didn't want to show over the top vulnerability or somebody just didn't want somebody to get close to them here. Now, another thing, interestingly enough, I'm picking up on a situation where the two of you could have revealed your innermost thoughts or feelings towards each other. Maybe talked about your childhood or, you know, being raised or brought up, right? I'm picking up that somebody had an abusive father or this, this emperor who could come in like a father. You could have somebody here, either Scorpio towards Gemini or Gemini towards Scorpio. Storyline I'm picking up is that somebody had a father that was not very loving, not very caring, not very nurturing. And maybe either one of you leaned on one another to talk about your family issues, how you feel about your parents, how you feel about your siblings. That's why I said I feel like I'm picking up a lot of conversations. Seeing the word reconciliation. It 
feels to me that the two of you in certain connections here. Well, spirit's telling me that silence is golden. Some of you try to reach out. But I'm getting, I'm picking up silence. Some of the text messages went unread. Or they went read, but no response. So, let's see what Scorpio, we're going to clarify the energy of Scorpio here. I hide who I really am from you. Scorpio, you hiding who you are from Gemini? Take the roles how they resonate. Message from Gemini. I left you before you could leave me. So what I'm picking up here is that despite the fact all of the good things that happen between you and this Gemini Scorpio, I'm picking up the word insecurities. Maybe you feel, Scorpio, that you really, truly couldn't be all of your true, authentic self uh, with this Gemini. Gemini, if you went through tumultuous relationships prior to Scorpio, there could have been some hidden fear whether or not Scorpio was going to stay in the connection. Let's go into the Romance Angels deck. Message from the Seven of Pentacles, this waiting energy. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. There could have been fights over money, job, or security. Somebody might have had some really bad spending habits spent beyond their means. Message from the Queen of Cups. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Some of you are waiting for this Gemini to return or vice versa. Gemini, you're waiting for Scorpio to return. There's a lot of frustration. I'm, I am picking up frustration big time. It almost feels to me... Now, some of you could have been married to one another. However, what I'm picking up here is that it almost feels like this... Despite the attraction... There definitely could have been a friends with benefits situation. but Because I keep hearing that the relationship connection between the two of you just did not get enough of a chance to get up and running off the ground here. Message from the emperor. The wedding, this situation involves marriage. Now, for some of you guys, could be dealing with somebody in the military. Scorpio could be in the military. Gemini, you're waiting for them. Or Scorpio, you're waiting for your Gemini, and Gemini is in the military. Uh, you could be waiting for um, your person to come home so that the two of you can get married. You could have been, again, in a long-term committed partnership, or there were plans, or maybe wedding plans are on halt right now, maybe due to finances. But I'm picking up in a storyline here that somebody, Scorpio energy, they hide who they are. Something's up. What is this energy? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. 
maybe again, who knows, hide who you are, Scorpio. Maybe it, it could be certain vulnerabilities. You could very well think that you were very much transparent with Gemini. Um, Gemini might have wanted you to be maybe a little bit more flirtatious or maybe more cool, casual, and laid back. Like I said, I'm picking up somebody was a clean freak or, you know, like to control a lot of things around the house. Don't know who what that was. I don't know if that's Scorpio or Gemini. Somebody wanted to control the house, the household. Message from Gemini. I left you before you could leave me. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Um, somebody could have up and left. Could have been Gemini taking the kids. Or somebody here, meaning Scorpio, may feel that Gemini was being immature. Maybe leaving the situation the way somebody did here. Again, take your take your roles how you resonate. Yeah, there could be there could be obviously children involved. You could have, you know, toddlers, you could have, you know, grade school kids middle school, maybe even high school children. Somebody here, uh, I'm picking up, there was a marriage here for 23 years. Just saw the number 23. I'm picking up a child with special needs. I just heard it. Citrine, I don't know, citrine, the gemstone citrine and channeling here. Could have been a citrine ring. Something about black onyx, maybe it's about protection. Somebody wanted to protect the children. But I'm picking up communication. Somebody thought that they had childlike behavior when it came to communicating. Or that somebody here wasn't mature enough to level up the connection to get it to this higher level of commitment. So to me, what I'm again, what I'm picking up is that this relationship connection didn't have enough chance or an opportunity in some scenarios to really get up and running off the ground. A lot of miscommunication, um, a lot of quirks, a lot of bad habits I'm picking up on. Somebody wanted somebody to be laid back, be flirtatious. Gemini may think that Scorpio was out all the time. <laughs> but something here about money or one of you was waiting for money or had been out of a job that could have put a strain possibly on the relationship dynamic. But the good news is 10 of swords, even though I saw it in my mind's eye very strongly, it's not to say that that energy was null and void. But yes, there could have been a brutal ending. There could have just been harsh words that were said. I, I just heard in my head doors slamming. Somebody could have been slamming doors, screaming at the top of their lungs. The, this, something about control. I don't know who's trying to control something. Control something in the house. Wherever it is that you live. Some of you guys live together. But I'm picking up. And then I'm picking up the scenario where this was a, we'll just say a potential suitor, um, potential partner that happens to be a Gemini. <laughs> and it just doesn't seem like it got up and running off the ground. Or I'm, I'm picking up again, the unread text messages or text messages that were read, but no response. 
So it almost feels kind of like here, Gemini and Scorpio energy, the way my cards are coming out today is that these two zodiac signs are not exactly seen eye to eye. There could have been kind of like a smothering, like somebody was either being overprotective or trying to dominate or control the situation or the timing when things would happen in this relationship that maybe it became far too robotic. So, Scorpio, Gemini, if you'd like to book a personal reading for your situation and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.